To everything there is a season, we need to be thankful. We, we, there, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. It means that we need to to find time under heaven to fulfill God's purpose in our lives. What is God's purpose for you? What is your mission? What is your calling? What is your life after this? And what is it? What is it that God wants you to be doing? What is it? What is it? What is that 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 God wants you to be doing? What is it? Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Proverbs 31.30 It means that we need to praise God for we need to to praise God before we see the manifestation of a future wife come into my life. Hey, future wife, you know I'm talking to you. You know I'm talking to you, and I love you. And I just want you to know that I love you, and just just pray that God will bless you and me at the right time. We're in the green phase now. And I just want to talk to you. Can you please appear to me? Can you pl please pray for me? Pray for my life? Can you please pray that God will put thoughts into my mind for Wednesday? He already did. And can you please pray that God will lead you to me at the right time? Can you Pray that that the Lord will bring us together at the right time. And you know that, that God is in control of all things. In all things, we have to believe that God wants us to get engaged and married eventually at some point. And you know, I've been thinking about you. You know, I've been wondering where you have been lately to see where you have been. And I just want to talk to you. I don't know where you are, future wife. And, and 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 please help me to understand that that you are waiting out there for me somewhere in Pennsylvania or in another part of Pennsylvania. I'm not so sure where you are at at the right time. You would come and find me. And. And and at now, if you really obey the Lord your God's voice by carefully keeping all His commandments that I'm giving you right now, then the Lord your God will set you high above all nations on earth. All these blessings will come upon you and find you if you obey the Lord, your God's voice. Hey, future wife, this is one for you. In Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 2, no, Deuteronomy 2, 22, verse 22, All these blessings will come upon you and find you if you obey the Lord, your God's voice. It means that that you need to 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 have have life o over everything, and you know that God is in control of all things, and together we will serve the Lord, and together we will serve that God is in control of it all, and 
You would be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. It means... When we go somewhere, like in Harrisburg, we'll be blessed there. And when we go towards Hershey Med, and Hershey will be blessed there. And 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 you will be blessed in the field when you are at in your own backyard or something or a field at a church or something. And, and God, God, God knows what you are doing, and your own fruit tree, your soil's produce, and your livestock offspring, the young of both cattle and flocks will be blessed. It means that, that he will, f your, your plants will grow into something big, and, and your crops will grow beginning to start blossoming here and there each day for a little and and your basket and your knee will, will be blessed it means you will be You will be blessed when you are out and about and blessed when you come back. It means that you will be blessed when you are out at work, like giving you good things, like the blessings from the Lord will come upon you. When you are out, it means when you're at work with your wife, just look around and see his smiling at you, his... Praising you or giving you hugs or kisses from me and just know that Everything will work out together in the end and trust that the Lord is going to bring us together someday You and And bless when you come back home means that your plants will grow or you have inner peace about something or anything probably when you come back home probably God will give me your phone cell phone number for your wife and and anything that can call you up and talk to you and they will come the the Lord will defeat any enemies who attack you the they will come against you from one direction, but will run for their lives away from you in seven different directions. The Lord will command to be the blessing to be with you in your barns and on all the work you do, and he will bless you on the land the Lord your God has given you. The Lord will establish you as his holy own. Just as he swore to you, if you keep the Lord your God's commandments and walk in his ways and and we should walk in his ways his ways for me to focus enough you know, on Wednesday God's gonna bless me when I go back to work I'm gonna do a good job in making those cold sandwiches for people so so, so you know that God is in control and all the earth peoples will see that you are called by the Lord's name and they will be on all of you. The Lord will make good things bound for you, whether the fertility of your womb, a fruit your wife, that maybe you and I will hang out together. Maybe God will give you the fertility of a womb for you. And, and make your womb big and put a baby inside your womb and grow the womb up to a big thing 
and you know that that's down the road in the future two years in two years we'll be together or maybe we can just bring maybe God will just bring us together right now and just talk for for a while and just that so your livestock's offspring or your fertile soil's produce on the green land that God that the Lord swore to your ancestors to give to you the Lord will open up for, for you his own well stocked storehouse the heavens providing your land with rain at just the right time and blessings all blessings all your and blessing all your work you will lend to many nations, but you won't have any need to borrow. The Lord will make you the head of things, not the tail. It means that you will be in charge of the blessing that God gave you, going to give you already. You will be at the top of the things, not the bottom. As long as you be, the Lord, your God's commandments, I'm commanding you right now. I'm carefully doing them. Don't debate. Don't debate even a bit from any of these words. I'm commanding you right now by following their gods and serving them. It means that 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 about stuff and you don't you need to listen to god god don't want you to serve other gods like the devil and the demons and other things serving them by doing the wrong things you've been doing and god needs you to turn things around and god there is a god that is no greater he's a winner He's a winner. He's a fighter of all things. And God knows who you are. God will t love you. And everything will come together. And God will bless you. God will hug you. God will kiss you. God, God will be your source in all things. Make God your source right now by and having him come into your life as your Lord and Savior. And you know everything. And you want him if you want anything really bad in your life, you need to pray and ask God into your life and change your thin, sins and change, give you good thoughts to think about. Purify thoughts like, like good thoughts and noble thoughts and kind thoughts about other things, about life and other things for you. And we need to, to, Learn that God is in control of all things.